Hey everybody, welcome to Barbecue by Biggs. I'm Aaron and today we're doing a smoked ham. So we bought this ham at only a dollar a pound. It's already hickory smoked, but instead of warming it up in the oven, we're gonna warm it up in our smoker. What that's gonna do is it's add another layer of flavor to that ham. So we're using cherry chunks with a little bit of B&B charcoal to add that smoky flavor to it. We're also gonna make us up a homemade glaze with a little bit of pineapple, brown sugar, and honey. So in the end, we're gonna have us a double smoked spiral cut ham. And if you guys wanna see one delicious ham, stay tuned. All right, so for this cook, we're gonna use cherry wood chunks. The ham has already been smoked with hickory, so we're gonna layer on the flavor with the cherry wood chunks. And with this IBS, you wanna make sure that the chunks are on the bottom, and then we'll just put the charcoal on top. We have a half a chimney of charcoal going here. We'll put the charcoal on top of this cherry wood, and then we'll dump that half right up here in the front. We'll leave a pocket. So we'll get that done and uh, bring you guys back. All right, we got the ham out of the package and now we're ready to add the rub. But before we can add rub, we're gonna make sure that we have a binder. So this ham has been previously smoked and like I said before, it was smoked in hickory. So the surface of this ham is really dry. So to allow our rub to stick to this and give us the flavor profile that we're looking for, we're gonna add a binder. And in this case, we're just gonna use olive oil. We just pour the olive oil over the top and then we're gonna use our hands just to rub it into all the cracks and crevices. So when we do add the rub, we'll have a good sticky surface for it to stick to the ham and give us the flavor profile that we're looking for. So today we're using Uncle Steve's Shake, sweet and spicier. It has one heck of a flavor profile. It has the sweet on one side and then that kick of spice on the back side. So we're just gonna take this and be very liberal with it because remember this ham already has flavor to it and you're just going to add this layer of flavor on it's also a large chunk of meat so you're just going to get a little bit of that rub with every piece that you have so you want to be liberal with it if you want that flavor if you don't like a whole lot of rub don't use a whole lot of rub but using a whole lot of rub it'll give you a bite in every single slice that you take so we have that pit warming up to 250 degrees. We're gonna get this ham rubbed up and then we'll get it out there on the smoker. Hey, and if you haven't hit that like button, hit that like button, it really helps out the channel. And if you're not subscribed, hey, consider subscribing. Hit that bell so next time we have a cook, you'll be notified. Let's get her out to the smoker. Hey guys, we got the pit up to 250 degrees. The ham's been sitting out at room temperature inside the house for about an hour. You can see it's starting to sweat real well. We're gonna get it on at 250 degrees, cook it for about two hours. Then we'll add the glaze on top and then finish it up. So we'll get this on the pit. All right, we're at 250 degrees. We're gonna put the ham on. Right here on the middle rack here. Like we said before, we're smoking with cherry chunks. It's already been smoked with a hickory. That cherry is gonna layer on another flavor on top of it. These hams are already cooked. So all we're doing is warming it up and adding some smoke flavor to it. And of course the rub and the glaze. So we'll get it on 250 degrees. We'll check back in in about two hours. See you guys then. All right, we're about an hour in. We've been rolling along at 250 degrees. We're gonna put a probe in and check in on the color here. Color's looking great. Bark's setting in. Oh yeah, come along nicely. So we'll get the probe put in and when we get to about 140 or so, we'll come and we'll cover it with topping and then let it cook for another 30 minutes or so, bring it to about 150 internal. Like we said before, this is already cooked. So all we're doing is really warming it up and adding some flavor. See you guys in about an hour. All right guys, it's been about two hours since we put it in. The internal temperature is only at 90 degrees. So we got a little bit more time left. So we thought it was gonna be about a two hour cook. 
but it's probably gonna turn in closer to a three hour cook. We have a choice here. We could either bump up the temperature and bring it up faster or just continue on. We don't have a whole lot going on, so we're gonna continue on at 250 degrees until we get that internal that we're looking for. If you're in this situation and you wanna bring it up a little bit faster, you can bump it up to 275, even 300 degrees and bring it up even faster. So we're gonna check in on it at two hours in. Like I said, it's only at 90 degrees internal. We're gonna go ahead and spritz it to make sure it doesn't dry out. And then we'll go from there and see where we're at. So, so you look behind me and you see it's pouring down rain. We don't have a lot of stuff going on. So we got plenty of time. You know what? It makes the day go by. So we'll check in on the ham and see where we're at. So we just got a mixture of water and apple cider vinegar. We're just gonna give it a quick spritz to keep it from drying out, see where we're at. Get you a little closer and let's see where the color's at right now. It's coming along nicely, color's setting in. Yep, it's a good looking ham so far. So in case we didn't say it earlier, we do have a, just a single water pan that's directly underneath this to keep it moist. Also to catch the drippings. So we're just gonna get it all spritzed up and back on. Like I said, when we get it up to about 135, 140, we're gonna go ahead and put the topping on, put the glaze on, and then we'll have it on there for about another 30 minutes. So from this point, we're hoping that it's about an hour, hour and a half, we'll be done with this. We got two hours until dinner, so we got plenty of time. If we have to, we'll bump it up to 275, but I don't see that as needing to happen. So we'll bring you guys back when we're closer to it. So this is a very simple syrup to put on top of this ham. We have a half a cup of brown sugar, a small can of pineapple chunks, including the juice. Add those together, stir them over medium heat. Once they come together a little bit, add an eighth of a cup of honey. And once you add that honey, we're gonna add one eighth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. That's it. We're gonna take that, we're gonna stir it together, and we're gonna let that kind of simmer for a little bit and thicken. Once it thickens, it's ready to go out and ready to go on the ham. All right, let's get it basted up. Man, it's looking good. Look at the color on this thing. Man, that thing is looking great. It's got a good bark on the outside of it. Yes, sir. So all we did is let this stuff get a little bit thicker. It's still runny. So we're just gonna get this put on here. Maybe just pour a little bit and spread it out. Real simple type syrup, a little bit of pineapple kick to it. Pineapple always goes good with ham, so. All right, we'll get it basted up and put it back on. We're, we're gonna cook it for about another 20, 30 minutes. Let this stuff get sticky on the sides. And come back, cut it up, and get a taste. All right, the glaze turned out great. We're gonna cut into this and see how it tastes. So let me bring you in close and let you look. Cut into here right quick. Good. Still got a ton of moisture. If you can see it at the bottom, it's got a ton of moisture running out. Let's give it a taste. I'll make sure I get some with a little bit of bark on it. Oh man. That Uncle Steve's sweet and spicier has a little bit of kick to it. You got the sweet of the pineapple and the brown sugar glaze. Man, it's delicious. A lot better than any Easter Easter ham I've ever had. And guys, at a dollar a pound, why not? This will make some heck of sandwiches and a lot of leftover meals. So we'll see you guys next time.